notice that we've got eight presentations in total, all very different, but all in some way, I hope, will help you increase your sales, win more business and leave you feeling motivated. How many of you are ready to be more successful in the future than you have ever been in the past? Raise your hand and say you bet. Yeah. You did pretty good. How many are ready to make more money in the future than you ever did in the past? Say you bet. Yeah. How many also want to have a good time today? Say you bet. Yeah. How many want to walk out those doors better looking than when you first walked in? Say you bet. <laughs> Sir, you didn't answer that last one. Trust me, you should have too. Um, <laughs> you don't get successful. You give up what's keeping you from being successful. Larry, how did you become a leading money guru? And I said, I don't know. Pretty much all I got is spend less than you earn. But since 40% of the people don't do that, I'm a guru. <laughs> You're all salespeople in the room today. Have you ever asked yourself this question? Have you asked it recently? Where do you add value as a salesperson? And your most precious resource as a salesperson is your time. So think about it really, really carefully. Where's the disruption? Where is the disruption? What marketplaces are perhaps more open to change at the moment? Because they're your lower hanging fruit. What are the values? What can you hang everything off so there's a nice story to tell? Because people like stories and people relate to that. And once you've got a meeting of minds and there's some rapport there, you can move forward. These are the important things to think about, I think. And if you get those things right, you make it much easier to sell. 40 minutes, I'm going to give you 13 simple ideas of what happens in the first four minutes. You know, when you meet somebody for the first time, very quickly like this, you get a feeling whether they're going to say yes or no. You know very quickly whether you've died or succeeded before the first four minutes has taken place. Yes or no? Yes. You can control a lot of what happens by practicing the things you have to do in that first four minutes, such as where your hand is. Is it straight up? Is it over? Is it soft? Matching the pressure, using a play face, using an eyebrow flash, mirroring using your palms primarily in upward position, all those things very quickly win people over. So very quickly they get a feeling of something about you they like. And if they like you, if they buy you, there's a good chance they'll buy what goes with you. The hardest part is not selling. The hardest part is getting someone to sit still and shut up and give you a fair go. And if they like you, that's what they'll do. What an incredible summer. I mean, the Olympic Games, the Paralympic Games, I think just wowed and charmed everybody. It was far better than even the most optimistic of experts. 65 medals, 29 of which were gold. It's changed the face of British sport forever, no doubt. So as a Team GB ambassador this year, being able to share experiences with the current team was a huge honour. When our time came, we want to be able to tell our children and our grandchildren that we got it right. And I guess that's the obligation in front of us all. We're going to talk about how to do e-commerce properly, strategy, how to execute relentlessly on that strategy, how to measure the results, how do you know if you're winning or not. Be customer focused always. It sounds like a glib catchphrase, but it isn't. If you do the right thing for your customers, they will buy from you. Give them a good experience, they'll come to your store and they'll spend money with you. Give them a great experience and they'll come back again and again and again. I'm not going to lecture you about the four keys to success because I'm afraid they don't exist. And I humbly think, yes, I'm French, but I can do humble. That, as you well know, in all your business and mostly in your industry, every situation, every market, every country, every brand have their specifics and require today three things and three things only. Flexibility, agility and common sense. Trust your people, right? Once you got rid of all the skeptics and you got people that really are engaged, really are committed, empower them, but empower them for the, give them ownership, give them autonomy, let them run the business. Did you know the easiest way to sell more than anybody else, to be better than your competitors, is you have to do something better than they do, and that's this. You have to communicate better than they can. You have to communicate in such a way that your customers think, well, that's the most impressive thing I've seen. That's the most impressive thing I've heard. So we want to get some results. We want to take some stuff out of today. 
Please have your pens poised. What I'm going to try and do is get you through in the next 40 minutes a boatload of little ways that you can get in front of more of the right kind of people. Because I know if you're laser focused and it's worth it, it's worth trying for it. It's worth continually knock on that door. The price is worth getting, don't come easy. It's tough out there right now and the cream rises to the top. You get to decide where you sit on it. We know that British, Britain faces serious challenges. The road back to financial prosperity won't be easy. And for us to get there, we must make the best of all our talents. And we know that we must make more, but to make more, we must sell more. That's why the work you do is so important and why the next Labour government will salute the work you do and promote it to the next generation. I've said for years, if you walk out of a meeting like this, a seminar like this, after you've heard all of these great speakers, if you walk out with one good idea, yes, one good idea is enough, if you're willing to act on it. All right, some of you are saying, boy, Larry, I'm with you. I'm fired up, I'm pumped up, I'm ready to go. When should I get started? <laughs> the moral of the story is if you were ever going to get started, you ought to get started right now. I appreciate my time. You all have been great. Have a safe trip home, and we'll see you all next year. Thank you so much. <laughs>